Okay, if you were to ask me what my favorite game was, or better yet, if I were to ask you what you thought my favorite game was, based on this channel, you'd probably say it was GTA 5 Online. Um, and you would be wrong. This is the game, Microsoft Freelancer, that I have absolutely the most history with. I mean, this, this is the game I lived on for years. This is, you know, I, I tell you what, the one thing I wish, I wish I had a computer that could handle fraps and, you know, recording software and uh, team speak at the same time because, you know, I would have so many great memories on this channel if that were the case. Multiplayer. Just remember, when you go multiplayer, you don't see this anymore, do you? Your experience may change. You may not be the PG-13 game. I guess you can see that on games that aren't like GTA, where your experience is expected to be bad anyway. Yes, we're good. Back in things when you could run your own LAN with this. Pretty much it's the way the mods have run it now. I've got some mods loaded on this. It, it, it's, it works either way. Because the global server isn't really there anymore, there's a mod that tricks it into finding the other, the other, all the servers. All the servers are now privately, privately run. I think they might have always been privately run. This is the one I always use, the 24-7 freelance universe with this IP address. Uh, they do have their own mod that adds more systems to the game. Uh, we'll be in one of those modded systems when I go into this. But... That is a, this is where we're going here. You might say, why are you taking us through all the basics here? Well, I, I'm, I'm going to do a compare and contrast video here. We're going to compare and contrast. I go into Freelancer, here's my ship. Now, Freelancer is not a perfect game. I mean, you know, there's some very interesting things with the, uh, the way that the ships are, are built and the way they register damage. You'll notice that my uh, my tail fin looks burned here. There's like a little tail that's supposed to stick out from there. And that's because I've shot them off and then repaired the hull to 100%. So that I still have, I can still t tank the maximum amount of damage, but I have fewer elements on the ship. There's no, there's no tail there to be shot. And the reason for this is, is that you, you take damage against the main hull wherever it's hit. And if you take enough damage in a certain point, that will fall off, but it still counts against damage to the hull. More importantly, if you get hit with a missile or a mine or some kind of explosive, a torpedo, the damage is calculated as hitting, if it hits the hull, then you get all the damage for the hull. If it hits the tail, you get the full missile damage applied to the hull through the tail. So the more complicated your ship is, the more damage it takes from a missile strike. Kind of odd. But the idea is if you shoot the tail off, you're harder to hit, and then it doesn't change the handling at all. And it uh, it makes you take, lets you take a little bit more damage from a missile. I mean, you take a direct hit from a cannonball or something like that, you're going down. Probably a Firestalker, too. I've been taken out with Firestalkers. But you might be able to tank a hit from, like, you know, some of the missiles. So, that's why we do that. Also, it became a thing. One of the guys discovered this. It was a base lie, actually. And uh, when Sly found out that this is what's going on, we did it almost like it was like kind of a ritualistic thing when you're into base to shoot the tails off your eagles. But back to the compare and contrast thing. If you want to buy a ship, you just click here. There's no ships available here to buy, so otherwise there would be they would be shown. Need to fix your ship right here. Or if you want to do upgrades, change parts. If you get weapons that you beam in when you shoot at other ships, you could sell them here. You can buy whatever weapons. All these weapons are largely crap. Yes, you can see battleship turrets. Those only go on battleships. and That's a thing for another day, probably. You've seen... I think I have battleship videos up here. You want to sell and to do commodity trading? If you want to, like, buy commodities here... Scrap metal or toxic waste, because obviously toxic waste has a value. Uh, <laughs> you can uh, you can run things back and forth between systems. Real easy to buy stuff, load it up. If you want to just take off, you can just take off. Just click the button, you take off into space. Uh, let's see, here you've got 
There's no group invitations. These are the multiplayer things. Here you can see, you know, the base is, of course, the reason it says base is because that's my clan on this uh, server, my team, my crew. In Freelancer, they're still called clans. Now, it has nothing to do with the clan, okay, just in case you're not up on this. But back in the days of COD, it became popular to call your team a clan. Just like, probably think of Irish, you know, like, you know, like clan, call, clan uh, you know, McLeod there of the, you know. And I am immortal. Um, and so your name is whatever comes after that. So this is, I'm the Black Knight, TBK. There you go. This would be where chat history is. That's your mission information. Here's the, 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 the map of the system that you're in. The physical map. And you can change that to, uh, you can see the, all kinds of, the political map, you know, the mining zones. If you shoot the asteroids up here, you can get things, I think artifacts and stuff like that. There's a map. Here's all the bases in the system. This shows your inventory, what's in your ship. Here's your reputation. So you can see, this is I don't have a neutral rep reputation on this because I've been fighting nomads, which, that's a mod. No, nomads are normally hostile everywhere. But on this server, I think they're mostly hostile. There might be a way of getting them to where they're neutral. Not usually. But because I've been working for the Liberty Navy, these guys are annoyed with me. But the order is thrilled because I'm hunting nomads and stuff like that. No, that's another modded one. Now, let's go to the bar to get a mission. So you walk into the bar. By the way, everybody looks like uh, Trent here, Edison Trent. That's your, the main character from the game. You don't get to do custom characters because this is an old game. You could, we could look at the main job menu first of all. You can get up to a million dollars on these, but 700k is not too bad. Outcast ships, outcasts, 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 outcasts. Okay, that's probably that. Let's see. Sometimes you can Welcome get no Welcome back, bad. Mr. Trent. Nice to see you. Back to the source. So, what do you have? I might have a proposition for you. What else? Sounds okay so far. Okay. Now, I could accept this, but it's not nearly as valuable as the 730. Not for me. Better find someone else. Take care, Mr. Trent. And you could bypass the whole discussion. Ooh, 870,000. You can decline for now. Look at this guy. 455, decline. They've got nothing for you. You can see. I've got nothing right now. Come back some other time. Oh, look at those graphics. But this guy, with the 870,000, we're going to do that one. And it's an assassination mission. So it's a little bit. All you have to do is get through the, the crowd and take out one target. Great. Accept. Looks good to me. That's great. Good luck. Just so you're aware, if you're, if you're not aware of uh, the way this game is structured, the idea was that humans left Earth because they were losing a war. And there were five sleeper ships. They're basically a, a, a U.S. one, a United Our objective States... objective is at the mission waypoint. See the nav map for further details. Uh, United States one, one from Japan, one from Great Britain, one from Germany, and one from, let's see, it was called the Hispania. So Spain, Italy, Greece, that kind of thing. And the Hispania was sabotaged and it was, it was damaged and left out in, in the far ends of things. And because they had harsher things going on, the, the, the survivors of the Hispania ended up becoming either pirates or drug dealers. The, the, the outcasts, as we're, we're going to see here, are all drug dealers because their planet has this pervasive drug on it that makes you everybody on it live very long, but it drops their reproductive cycles, changes their DNA a bit, it makes them utterly addicted to it, and they're trying to get everybody else addicted to it. And that's why they call themselves the outcasts. And we're going to go shoot a bunch of them. But that's why you'll notice their names are, are from the, the Mediterranean and, and Spanish sort of thing. Because that's where their ship was from. And I can talk here. We're cruising through this kind of weird space here in the Alaska system. I never understood what these spiky asteroids are supposed to be. But they're cool. You know, I don't know if that exists anywhere. But I don't think so. But 
And this is a modded in system. It's based on the original Alaska system, but in the in the re regular game, yes. you um, you couldn't get to it. Alaska was closed off except for one set of this missions. Is Navy Theta three to Freelancer Alpha one dash one. I'm scanning your cargo bay for. Con you're in range of your target. We've marked the ship for you, so he'll be easy to find. Okay. You're no match for me. Well, let's see if you're a match for these torpedoes. You don't want... Target eliminated. <laughs> mission Commission signing off. This is the Mission Commission. We show your target is rabbiting. Do not fail to meet your objective. <laughs> and we've got some backup. Okay, so these guys are running away. And just that quickly. 800,000. That's not a typical mission. That's that's a lucky one. We can we can go back to and get another one here. Let's see where are we at. You know shipyard. Go to. Normally you have to fly around and shoot a bunch of things. The the torpedoes. It's argued back and forth whether the torpedoes are upgraded on this mod that the server runs, which you have to load on your computer. Uh, just because there are player-owned battleships, so you'd need a way to damage the player-owned battleships. I've heard multiple different things on that. But I do know if you put two into an NPC player, you're set. Now, one thing you don't want to do is, you know, this ship is set up for fighting NPCs. Okay, I can show you the, the loadout here. The Krakens here, the Krakens. Their particle guns, they're particularly good against outcast shields because it, the outcasts use graviton shields. There's three different types of shields, different types of weapons. It's rock, paper, scissors as to what works best against what. Against a, uh, against a human opponent, you'd use a Tizona, which is a, a shield killer. It doesn't do any damage or just very little damage to the ship, but it'll knock their shields out in, in one blast. And then you count on these Nomad uh, energy guns, which do not use your, your gun energy, so you could have unlimited ammo, basically. You don't have to let things cool off. And the turret, the turret hardly ever comes into play on this thing. But I would have a different loadout. And there's, there, you could have up to five ships for one account. Dock. Roger that. Your request to dock is and granted. Please proceed to dock one. And the trick to it is, if you if you create another Windows account, you can have five more ships. So what you end up doing is, you create uh, however many Windows accounts as you want. You you create those ships, and then there's someone came up with the bright idea of extracting the registry information into little registry files. And then if you want to change what ships you're using, just double click the registry file. It changes what account your computer thinks you're playing from, and it loads those ships up. So I have. Dozens of these. Well, not dozens. At least, at least a dozen of these accounts. No question about it. Battleships. We have you know all kinds of fighters. Every kind of fighter in the game. You have essentially with a little bit of work, you can have unlimited ships, but five at a time. I have it set to automatically reload everything. You can go here. Not repair the wheel. We're not going to repair the middle ring. The middle ring. The middle wing. As you can see, I have 209 million credits, which is, believe it or not, not a lot in this game. There's a lot of people with almost with a billion by this point. I mean, the game's been in existence since 2005. Anything to sell? What do we get from those guys? It was just one guy, so there's not. We did get a catapult missile and a swatter mine, so that's what he would have been using. Again, I'm I'm more resistant to catapults because I've got my tail trimmed. Did we get any stuff from him? I feel like I should do at least one... Ah, consumer goods. Very good. I feel like I should do at least one more mission. Just so it doesn't look like it's a completely goofy game here. Okay, sometimes you'll see a dollar here, and that means you can pay them to fix your, uh... You know, I am looking for someone to do a job. All right. What's the situation? 880,000. Okay, well, we're going to look at maybe 880. Yeah, that's the one we're going to This is the guy. You're back. It's another assassination mission. It'll do. That's great. Good luck. Which, this might be another quick 880. I'd, I'll take that. We'll...
You never know when you're going to want to buy another battleship in game, which you can only, you know, it's an interesting thing. You can't just buy a battleship or a cruiser or any of the captain. We've uploaded the mission waypoint into your nav map. Refer to it for more instructions. You have to contact the server administrator uh, on the forums, and if you have an active clan, which I don't, I have base clan, but right now we don't have enough people in it active, you at least three regularly playing on the server to be considered an active clan and hold territory and things like that. The, uh, I think, well, at least that's the rules the last time I checked. Um, do, you can then buy battleships for like 500 million, 200 million. Depends on, you know, big, big transports and things like that. You can get an LT if you're not in the clan. I like, a, a, you know, a long transport. But the, um, and there's some different things that go along with that. Because it is kind of an incomplete game. Now, I'm stressing that when we get to comparison time. Comparisons are a thing. He's, he's right there again. This is another quick range one. Of your target. We're painting the ship so he'll be easy to home in on. You're no match for me. Didn't hit him, so... Now we're going to have a battle on our hands. Hit the thrusters, get the speed going. I'm warning you, you'd better stop this. Okay, so he's running. Mission commission. We show your target is rabbiting. Do not fail to meet your objective. Are we gonna get him? Nah, he's out of range. Okay, that's kind of better because it allowed me to kind of demonstrate the game a little bit more. We'll have more of a battle when we, we follow. So we go the we'll go to the mission waypoint here. Get him back into range. Okay, that was Kevin. If you're trying for my boss, I'm sorry to disappoint you. They hit their own minds, I think. Okay, let's let's do what we call an engine kill turn here. I've killed when you hit engine kill, it, it actually changes your physics so that you're actually using real physics. And generally when you're backing up there's a glitch where they won't follow you and then you just get out of range. Let's go to hostile ships, track the guy. That's a nice it's, it's never been fixed. We got him. We can now kick out and actually avoid everybody else. We're gonna go get his stuff. We're gonna we're gonna go. He, he's dropped some cool things. Come on, beam it in. Oh, we have to destroy the viroids. There's a, this is a, there's a, another. He's oh, this is one of those deals where he's carrying stuff and you have to destroy it. Excellent work. You did it. Mission Commission signing off. Now I can just beam away from these guys. If I want. If I want to, I can. There's a lot of them. It might not end well if I try to take on that many sabers. But, thanks to a trick in the game, if you're facing backwards, they don't approach you. Which would make sense, because your guns are aimed at them, but they, they don't mind that any other time, so... Eventually, they go out of range. Now, if I had had a cruise disruptor mounted instead of torpedoes, when he went to run away, I could have cruise disrupted him. Everybody else would have left him there, and I could have killed him on his own, too. That's another option. When playing player versus player, you always use the cruise disruptor. You don't use the torpedoes because one shot from a cruise disruptor at your torpedo, when you fire it, will blow it up next to your ship and then kill you. So it's it's very bad to use. A, a matter of fact, that's a, a, a common technique is to spam cruise disruptors at any player that's uh, using missiles on you because you can blow them up with their own missile. Why am I explaining all of this in such detail? What's the gimmick? What's the dealio? Why are we bothering? Well, 
that's where the comparison comes in. By the way, there, there are missions where you have to kill all the ships. There are missions where you have to kill all the ships. It's just, uh, we didn't get one of those. And I'm kind of okay with that. It works for this video, from where I'm trying to get here. To get, so there are certain weapons you can only get from wrecks. There are certain weapons you can only get from shooting down, say, you know, alien spacecraft. It's a great game as far as, you know, building your character. It's, it's wonderful as far as that's concerned. Again, now let's move on to the comparison. You see, Chris Roberts has made a bunch of different games in his time. The Wing Commander series, Privateer, which was the inspiration, I think, for this game. There's so many parallels. And, of course, this game, which it's okay that Pri Privateer and Freelancer are, are basically the same thing because the same guy made them, so it's not like he's plagiarizing himself. Star Lancer before Freelancer. And then after Freelancer, which, you know, was built by... Originally it was Chris Roberts making it, and then his company was bought by Microsoft. Microsoft basically said, well, wherever you're at now, we're shipping it. And that's what we got. And I believe I'm running the high def mod in this, so it looks a little, might look a little prettier than the original, but maybe not. But then he took a 10-year sabbatical. He got out of the game for a while. Said to himself, you know, all right, oh, I'm done. I'm rested. I can make another space game. The technology has advanced. We can do more stuff. Who wants to make a space game? And nobody wanted to make a space game. They all wanted to make Candy Crush. So he decided to crowdfund it on his own. And I, I think, you know, most of you, if you're watching this video, know where this is going. Thing, where everything went black. There we go. Boy, that is pretty, isn't it? And you can see how it, it has, you know, links to the original Freelancer. You can see why I would be thrilled with this game, why I would spec out my computer back in 2015, 2014, really, I think was when I was making the orders on this. It was early, early 2015, I want to say March of 2015, when I bought my computer. Because this was going to be the game it had to play. And this was, I, I made sure I had a, a, a good video card, enough memory, blah, 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 blah. Back in 2015, it was a screamer. Probably not compared to what's, you know, now it's in 2019. And uh, here's the deal. I, I'm one of those crowdfunders. I purchased the game. I got the basic package for like 40 bucks. And then I added on the uh, an upgrade to the, uh, the Aurora ship just for like another 20 or something like that. So I figure, hey, I put 60 bucks into it. That's the same thing as buying any AAA game. I did not spend $100 or $150 to get the Freelancer ship. I figure, well, you're supposed to be able to make in-game money and buy those ships with all the stuff you can get in-game. It's not supposed to be completely pay-to-win. And uh, we'll get there. We'll get there at some point, you know. There's a there's a single player thing that's supposed to go with this uh, Squadron Forty Two. All right, obviously a Hitchhiker's Guide reference there with the numbering. Mark Hamill has done acting for it. They've, I think they've recorded all of his bits into it. And it's 2019, and the game is still in alpha. Four years of alpha. I mean, we're supposed to get you know, Squadron 42 three years ago. But they keep adding things and adding. Oh, here we go. Now they, they've got it somewhat running. I mean, there's there's some things going on. It's not the complete and cohesive universe yet. Reaching for some intense first-person shooter action. Yes, they've, they've added a first-person shooter thing where you can shoot people on it. So an entirely different game than, you know, Freelancer was. High speed uh, multiplayer dogfights and races. And that's all great. You can do that. You can taste different bits of it. In the end result, all this is supposed to be in the universe where you can fly your ship from place to place, do missions, uh, board other ships and take them over. The universe is the, okay, character customization. Um, wow, that's really... Somewhat limited. What the heck? 
It looks like me. I don't know. Not really. I guess... What looks the most neutral, I suppose? Obviously, there's probably some, some tweaking that's gonna go on here. Come on, we need a firm jaw. And yellow eye, not the yellow eyes. Let's go with face forward, just, just for the jaw alone. We're gonna go with skin tone. Wow, you see that? The, the, the horror flashing between them. Wow, you know, I'm I'm a white guy, and the white guys are so blindingly white. I am a quarter Sicilian. Come on, a little bit. A slider would be nice. Let's, let's just go with that for right now. Hairstyle, the Caesar, shaved. I've never seen this. This, this has probably been added since. Is that all the hairstyles? Pompadour? Where did they steal? Did they steal that from Fallout? Did they rip this entirely from Fallout only with not as good? Side part, we can go with that, I guess. Hair color, brown. I wonder if you could change this or if I'm I locked into it. I'm going light brown. That eye color, brown. Anything more brown than brown? No, it's brown. We're just going to go with brown. No beard? They don't have beards in the future? Alright, that's close enough for... Yes, we might as well. Hangers, spaceports. Let's go to hangers. Visit location. Now, here's your hangar here. Doesn't it look a lot like a fancied up version of the, the hangar from Freelancer? And it is, except... I guess I have a, a visor or something. Is there a view button here? I can see what... Okay, I can't move yet. There we go. Can't... Can I go to third person in some way, shape, or form? Is there a thing? Okay, welcome to your personalized network. They've added that. That's F1. Vehicle tracked. Tracked mission status. Suit oxygen. Pressure. Heart rate. Crime stat. Current balance. 39,000 just from... Just from currency that I, uh, I had purchased, I think. Um, so you, can, you, can, you can shift to run. Let's back me up. I want to see me. Let's see. Is there an escape? Let's see. Options. Game settings. Controls. On foot, flight, view. Aim up, aim down, aim right. Come on. How do you change view? There's a lot of settings. Key bindings? Okay. That's, this might help. Rotate left, straight right, tr throttle up, free look, exit seat, cycle camera view, F4, all right, that, so here I am, I can't look at my face, come on, okay, that's me in a really ugly, you know, that almost looks like the suits they wear for CGI capture, so I'm in a CGI capture suit. But hey, I'm not locked to being Edison Trent. I'm sure you could buy other suits. You say, well, where's your ship? You just want to get in your ship, right? That's why you went to the hangar. No, 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 no. We have to find our way to the place where you request it. Let's see, here's a panel. Can you request a ship from the panel? No. 
Now that doesn't do anything. Um, can't go through that. Okay, we hit this button. Um, what's the um, what's the button for activate? <laughs> strafe up, free look, strafe down, E, roll right. See, this is the game. The the you know. Where's the where's the simple action button? It's usually E. In every game in the world, it's E. Or space. Space makes you hop. Tab doesn't do anything. Shift doesn't do anything. Okay, so forget the elevator. Is there a door? Is that a door? Almost positive E used to be the activation button in this. I mean, it's not the first time I've played the game. Right, it's not F. Cha F changes view. Focus. That's a focus targeting thing. If I focus, I have to focus and then click it. Oh, that's intuitive. So focus, go down, go up. I think we're at the bottom, so we're going to go up. So I have to hit F to focus and then click. Alright. Don't fall off. Which means I can't really do that in third person, right? Now somewhere up here there should be a door. Okay, a door. Can we go through it? Be focused and click the door. Okay, this door doesn't work. Okay, is there, is, will this let us get, pull in our ship? You'd think that that would, you know, at least a, a big thing of control boards here would do something. I'm focusing. This is decorative. I know you used to be able to go through the doors. The last time I was in here, the doors worked. I don't think they were focus click doors, but... Okay, I'm getting frustrated. Let's, um, if I say exit to menu, leave this level and return to the menu. Let's go to the stands, let's go visit the Stanton system. Maybe you have to visit location there. Maybe that's just showing you with a hand, it's just a hangar tour. Maybe it's not connected to anything. Maybe you have to go to the Stanton system just to uh, just to use anything maybe that's how it's set up I I don't know it's loading I mean the graphics are pretty and the music is pretty error lobby code connection to session host failed If you've watched any of my channel, you know I don't generally have a lot of internet problems. I'm running, you know, high-speed cable internet, or we're not dialing up here. It's trying again. Come on. 
Okay, let's do the time warp again. Okay, now this is similar to the GTA Cloud, really, where it'll just hang up like this. So, I mean, I can't say I never have a problem with it. This is, you know, the GTA Cloud kind of thing. But this is Cloud Imperium. They're supposed to be all about the cloud, right? Right? It's just... Just a thing. We're still loading. I really... My goal for the video was to show you how much more effort it was to leave your hangar, walk all the way down to the uh, the place to get missions, load your ship, even just to load your ship and then fly it away. And we may not even get that far. Because it's just a lot more work. Everything you do is more accurate but a tremendous amount more work. So there's a huge trade-off going on, on with this game in that you you have a much more accurate rendition of everything. It's more immersive, but you've got to kind of find your way through an airport kind of thing. Where is my gate? Is this my gate? I don't know. Where do I go? It's, it's that kind of thing. I imagine once you get used to it, you know, it'll be immersive and you'll, you'll feel cool about the whole thing and it's and maybe this was his original vision for Freelancer, which is why Microsoft bought it and then said, this is good, this is a game, shipped it. Because you couldn't, you could barely apparently do that now. Don't forget, I paused for a little, for a few, a few seconds here trying to let this thing go. It's just, uh, time warp again, everyone. Okay, so I got up, took my blood pressure medication, Went away for a while, paused, backblazed, make sure my internet was absolutely giving 100% of its effort to this, and this is, this is not working. I might have some footage somewhere, some older footage, which would be a slightly older build, so I can't say that it's 100% up to date, but I can give you an idea of some of my concerns are, if I can find it. Let me go see if I can find that footage and go from there. Uh, I couldn't find it. We're going to try again. We're gonna, just going to try the universe again. Visit location. Let's give him another shot. Let's do the time warp again. This, this isn't happening. Okay, so then. <laughs> just, just not working today. I must have deleted the other stuff because the footage was really terrible. I was getting, I'm walking through the hallways and I'm getting frame drops down to like eight. Eight frames per second walking through the hallways to get to the ship. And uh, I was going to demonstrate all that, and that's not happening today. I'll be perfectly honest with you. you know, re the reason I'm doing this? Do you want to know the reason I'm doing this? Because I'm planning on uninstalling it so I could save some space on the hard drive. It's just, I'm not going to be playing this for a long time. If you think Fallout 76 is messed up, um, yeah, nothing. Nothing on what, what the, this system's got going here, what, what this thing's got going but we could try. Can we back out enough? I could try one of the multiplayer sessions, I guess. Okay, let's try. I'm not really into the Star Marine. That's not, I'm looking for a freelancer experience. Let's try Arena Command. Preloading room. Okay, let's try single player. Just to, you know, map... Broken Moon, I guess, select ship, selected is my Aurora, okay, that's good, let's try Broken Moon, Dying Star, okay, game mode, classic race, free flight, let's try free flight, that's gotta be, Dying star again. Let's do free. Let's just fly. We just want to do something simple. Launch game. It's not even multiplayer. It's single player. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Okay, it's definitely pretty. I remember the last time it took me forever to figure out how to fly it. Okay. 
You have to mouse look to steer. W, it's actually a little bit different than I remember from the last time, so maybe they tweaked it. Okay, the throttle controls work the same way as they do with the other. Guns work the same. You can zoom in and zoom out. And change your focus there. Power off. You can turn off the thing. It's, I'm using the focus button. Engine on, engine off. I don't think we want to turn the engine off right now. Open exterior. Um, let's see. Can we change? Let's see, it's F4. There we go. Here's my ship finally. Can we change it? Can we zoom? Yes, it's, it's one or the other. You can't zoom in and zoom out on that. So just... I'd like it a little bit smaller, to be honest. So you can see more of the ship. Um, is this as fast as it goes? Is there an afterburner? There you go. A little bit. You can see the thrusters working. That's kind of neat. It's pretty, but you can't you can't say it handles well. It'd be nice if you could do a change view and rotate around here. Let's see, can we land? This is not feel maneuverable. I realize I got the basic ship with a, a little bit of a weapons upgrade. I always select weapons. That's only some. I'm gonna go back into F4. Focus, where is the... Uh, I just let you power things off. There's a way of um, there's a way of getting out of the chair right now. I always stand up. Exit. Okay. So you can leave it drifting in space. And this is extremely fancy. It's fancy dancy. You can go back here. Take a nap. <laughs> when you hit F4, you're not looking at your external self there. You're just... Oh, here we go. Now I can at least see the front of the thing. Drifting through space. Landing gear out. Might be fixed gear on this thing. This is my Aurora with the Legionnaire up update here. With the F4. And here I am. Sleeping. Exit bed. Yeah, the ship's floating around, so it's a little bit nauseating. We could probably exit the ship, but I don't want to do that because it won't end well. Not much. It doesn't seem like there's much I can do here. Obviously, we're just in a free flight mode. We weren't trying to do anything. We're not trying to do multiplayer because I just get killed. Where is that kind of base thingy here? There it is. Can we land this? Now, all I would have to do really is select this. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to shoot at it where I want to land on. Landing here would have been easy to do in Freelancer. I keep wanting to... I have my Freelancer set to click for free aim, I think, so that's throwing me off here. Ah, 
How do I land? Landing should be a thing. Maybe you can't even land in this mode. I don't know that. That's... So, there's a couple things that you should get the feel for here now. This is a much more... They're, they're shooting for a much more accurate rendition of, of what it would be. It's much more realistic. I think they're losing some of the arcade fun kind of things here. This is... This is a little bit heavy. Little bit complicated. What happens if I crash? Can we can we fly it into the sun? It's it's really kinda hard to fly from selected. Wow, this is... you do not have that feeling of speed. I mean, there's no... Okay, Shift W does increase things. What's that doing? Oh, they have a boundary so you can't fly into the sun. So if I shift W, it increases things beyond normal maneuverability. How fast can we go? It's like sprinting? You have to sprint? Can we get this thing up to where it's, it's doing a reasonable amount of... Oh dear! I slid into it backwards. Okay. As you can see, it's not as intuitive as Freelancer. And I don't know if it's going to be as fun as Freelancer. Um, it's going to be a lot more learning curve. I mean, I'd like to be able to turn this thing on a dime. Fly from system to system, make money. But like, I have no temptation to play this game. It's in a simulation. It's not the real world yet. I mean, it's it's not working for me. Is what I'm saying. It's because I'm in the wrong mode. Me, if I was actually in dog fights with people, it would be a thing. I don't know yet, but so far it's not like I could just step into... I mean, there's a learning curve to Freelancer, but it's a very smooth curve. It was made to be kind of arcade-friendly, but give you the vibe. This is more... maybe it's just more hardcore? But, I mean, you know... I don't know, I'm going to have to see once the once the, uh, the real... the whole world, you know, exploring thing is available to me, maybe it'll... Maybe, Maybe I won't uninstall it just yet. I'll have to see how much space it's taking up. I'll be I'll do I'll put that in here and I'll, I'll I'll put a little text thing in here and let you know how much space it takes up and whether or not I, I uninstalled it for the time being. But uh, on that note, if you're if you're really looking for a freelancer experience, I say play freelancer. That's that's what I feel like doing right now. This is, this is interesting. This is just mostly whetting my appetite for Freelancer. It's kind of sad because this could be so good. And maybe it will be so good in the long run. Once, once you can connect to servers and fly around the universe and everything is there. But I mean, I think we're looking at, man, at least, at least a year. Maybe two. It's a long game development. This thing is going to make... Uh, Duke Nukem Forever looked like it was knocked out in, in an afternoon. 
on that note, folks, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. It's been a long time since I've been to Open Current Major. I don't even remember what the, what the plan was here. Corsair base, it looks like. Alien orgs, dangerous alien artifacts. Do I have anything in the ship? Anything loose? Yeah, I'll lose that energy can, but they're, they're a dime a dozen. Do there be missions here? Outcasts and Corsairs working together, only here on the Freelancer universe. No missions available at this time. Was wondering when you'd show. Good to see you again. Thanks. What's next for me? You know, your rep stinks to high heaven. I can fix that. Go ahead. Liberty Police. No, that's not what we're looking for. I think I'm staying away from this one. Hope you live, Trent. So we got no missions. That's right, didn't we exhaust missions on this at some point? It just, they went away for a while. That's why I stopped playing this account. Forget why. Attention all units in the vicinity. This is, we're reading hostiles in the area. Prepare okay. But we still got aliens to shoot, so. I'm getting hit by uh, order ships here. Gotta be careful what's going on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. One more. Whee! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Acknowledged. Sentinel Base. We were the Sentinels when we first came to this server. So Sentinel Base always has a... I'm sure it has nothing to do with that fact, but... Then eventually Base, uh, base came back. Sentinels was kind of all the people from the old Get On It server, and then we eventually factioned back out. But you'll have this.